Hey everyone, in this tutorial what I'm going to be covering is actually how to adjust uh, certain facial features to uh, improve your facial symmetry and we're going to do that using a couple of techniques using uh, makeup as well as actually using some facial reshaping. So what I'm going to do first is go over directly into the makeover section. We've already done some facial fitting for this model. If you want to learn how to do that you can check out our getting started tutorial. Um, so in the facial makeover section here, what we're going to focus on is actually the eyes. You can see this model has some fairly close set eyes. Her eyes are fairly close together, um, close to her nose there. Uh, these are what we call close set eyes. And what I want to do is create uh, a makeup template to create an illusion of, of wider set eyes. So I'm going to start over with my uh, eye makeup here. And I'm going to start with eyeliner, uh, the foundation of my eye makeup. And in the eyeliner, what I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose a regular stroke template. Now there's a number of different templates you can choose here. I'm going to show you uh, in a minute uh, what I mean. Now what I want to focus on is I want to focus on creating um, a, uh, some more eyeliner, some heavier eyeliner along the outer part of her eye there. And what that's going to do is that's going to draw the eyes apart and create the illusion of wider set eyes. Um, so for example, if I choose this uh, stretch um, eyeliner makeup or eyeliner template for example, you can see what that really does is it actually draws the uh, eyes fairly far out. Um, it's not very heavy right now. We can also choose something like these uh, puppy eyes or this outer corner, for example, outer corner B. And what that'll do is it'll just draw some more attention to the outer part of the eyes there and kind of stretch those out. You can see it's a fairly, fairly decent start. All right, so we'll just choose outer corner B. And of course, we can increase the strength as well if we want. We don't want anything too strong. We want to keep it uh, fairly natural looking. Okay, so it doesn't look uh, too extreme right there. What we'll do now is we'll go back into our main section here. And the only other thing I want to do right now is apply some uh, eyeshadow. Okay, so eyeshadow, in the eyeshadow section, if I go to the main directory here, there's a folder called Shape Correction. Now in the Shape Correction folder, there's a number of different um, items here that you can actually use to adjust the, to create the illusion of a different shape of eye. Okay, you can see there's eyes closed. If your eyes are closed, for example, eyes separated. All right, uh, what I wanna do, is I want to select this eye separated template. Um, and what that'll do is you can see there's some fairly um, some fairly um, heavy eyeshadow along the outer section of her uh, eye there. And you can see that creates a, another decent effect of just drawing the eyes apart to create a more wide set look. I can also choose this um, eyes up template. And you'll see the difference there, there's a slight difference. It just kind of draws the eyes up a little bit because the, uh, the uh, makeup section or the sorry the uh, eyeshadow was being applied in a more triangular uh, shape there. If I go into the masking tools you can see uh, exactly what I mean by that. Um, there's just some foundation there. The shade, the main shade color is being applied in a, kind of a triangular shape there. And uh, the shade A and the shade B, the brow bone is just very very light, uh, very light effect there. All right so you can see with those two different uh, makeup templates it's actually drawn the eyes, um, some, add some emphasis to the eyes and kind of drawn them further apart. What we can do to compound that is we can actually go back here into Beauty Center and that's all we're going to do in the makeup for now. I'm going to go to this reshape section now. In the reshape section, what I want to do is actually just tweak some, uh, tweak some of her facial features to kind of um, um, adjust the facial symmetry like I mentioned before. Now, I can do this in a number of ways here. In the uh, facial features section, if I select her uh, eyes for example, you can see I have a number of options here and I have both eyes. Um, the options choose both eyes, left eye, or right eye. For now, I'm going to choose each eye separately because what I'm going to do is move them slightly apart. All right, so I'm going to choose the uh, left eye here. What I'm going to do is move that along the x axis a little bit to the left. Now, pay attention to her left eye there. And you can see it just moves slightly to the left there. Okay, uh, just a little bit. Maybe that's a little bit too much. We don't want anything too extreme. We want it to look uh, fairly natural, like the actual person. Okay, so we'll choose the left eye, about minus 16, and then we'll choose the right eye, vice versa, and raise that up to about 16 there. And you can see when I zoom out there, you can see the effect that the combination of the uh, eye makeup and the uh, facial adjustment has had on her, on her eyes there. They seem a little bit more, uh, a little bit more wide set, and uh, the facial symmetry is a bit more pleasing. We can also go into the uh, muscles here, and if we want, we can adjust, uh, you know, certain parts of the eyes. We can. Uh, you know, raise the inner eyebrows to give her a more friendly look, something like that. All right, just a very slight adjustment. But you can see now that it's just added some more, uh, just added a bit more of an attractive look to her eyes there. All right, and uh, that's about it for uh, adjusting facial symmetry. So you can just go ahead and, um, it depends on your own picture, your own image, uh, whichever feature you want to adjust. I just wanted to show you a couple of examples of how you can do that. 
um, using the different uh, features in Face Filter 3. All right, so hopefully you learned something today and thanks for watching this tutorial.